Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we are given that cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma is 0 and sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma equal to 0. Now, using these two conditions, we have to show that whatever, whatever they're asking me, first part of these two conditions. I'm going to make it easy for you. So, please stay with me until then, okay? In case if you feel my speed is a bit slow, you can increase this video speed to 1.2 or 1.5. Now, first write down the given two conditions and take them as 1 and 2. Cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma equal to 0, take it as 1. Sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma equal to 0, take it as 2. Okay, now. Now, the first important step in this entire sum is take let x as let x equal to sin alpha. I mean, let x equal to cis alpha y equal to cis beta and z equal to cis gamma. This is the first important step. Okay. Now, what would we get by doing this is, you will understand how things go. Now, to make use of the given two conditions, I am going to find out x plus y plus z. Okay. That is needed for what I want to prove. x plus y plus z is nothing but cis alpha plus cis beta plus cis gamma. Okay. Now, what is cis alpha? Cis alpha is nothing but cos alpha plus i sin alpha. Okay, cos alpha plus i sin alpha. Likewise, cis beta is cos beta plus i sin beta and cis gamma is cos gamma plus i sin gamma. Okay. Now, bring the real parts to one side and imaginary parts to keep them at the end. So, I will get cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma and these imaginary parts are here. Now, take i common in these three terms. i into sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma. Now, observe carefully what, what I got here. See, here I got cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma. What is cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma? It is nothing but 0. And likewise, this is also 0 because of the second condition. So, this would be nothing but 0 plus i into 0 from 1 comma 2. See, that's why I mentioned in the beginning, mark this as 1 and 2 because whenever we will use them, we can just give a reference like this. So, 0 plus i into 0, which is nothing but just 0. So, x plus y plus z is 0. Let's go ahead. Now, using this condition, <coughs> if you'll observe, if you'll observe now, what they are asking us to prove is they are asking us to show that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equal to zero. So something like square is involved. Okay. So in this in this uh, equation which I obtained x plus y plus z equal to zero, I'm gonna square on both sides. So if I do that, x plus y plus z whole square is nothing but zero square. Okay. Fine. So x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot 2 here. Plus 2zx equal to 0. Now, now uh, in these three terms, take 2 common. So 2 into x square plus yz plus zx equal to 0. Fine. Now, listen carefully. This will require some attention. Stay with me. Now, what you have to do is send this 2 into x y plus yz plus zx to the RHS. So, I get x square plus y square plus z square is not minus 2 into x square plus y square plus z, zx, okay. Now, next, what to do? Now, in this bracket, for the first term, is you see there is x and y. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply and divide by z in this first term. So, I'd get x, y, z by z, okay. Next, in this term, there is no x. So, x, y, z by x. In this term, there is no y. So, z, x, y, y, y or x, y, z by y anything so you see in observe observe this observe from here to here what happened i just multiplied and divided by z in the first term and i multiplied and divided by x here and then i multiplied and divided by y here okay now next now if you see see the numerators i have xyz 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 we can take xyz common so take xyz common so i get minus 2xyz 1 by z plus 1 by x plus 1 by z Okay, fine. Now, just rearrange this like 1 by z plus 1 by x plus 1 by y is right. Like make it 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. So, I get this. Okay. Now, listen carefully. Here, something else important is coming. Now, what is our x? x is cis alpha, right? x is cis alpha. x is cos alpha plus i sin alpha. Okay. When x is cos alpha plus i sin alpha, 1 by x, 1 by x is nothing but cos alpha minus i sin alpha. Okay. 1 by x is nothing but cos alpha minus i sin alpha. Okay. 
fine uh, in case if you want to know how one by x is cos alpha minus sin alpha like request in the comments i'll help you out there because if i cover it here uh, you know the video could be become a bit lengthy so this is what we get one by x is nothing but cos alpha minus sin alpha likewise one by y is uh, cos beta minus i sin beta and one by z is cos gamma minus i sin gamma so you see minus 2 xyz into cos alpha minus i sin alpha plus cos beta minus i sin beta plus cos gamma minus i sin gamma. okay now next again same thing uh, bring the real parts together and imaginary parts together right you get cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma minus i sin alpha minus i sin beta now. okay i forgot an i here sorry minus i sin gamma okay now next take minus a common in these three terms take minus a common in these three terms okay if you were to do that you'll get this minus i into sin alpha plus sin beta plus now recollect something recollect something if you guys remember if you guys remember cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma is nothing but zero cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma is nothing but zero and sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma is zero so minus 2 xyz into 0 minus i into 0 from 1 and 2 you remember in the beginning i made you made you guys i mean i marked those two as 1 and 2 those two conditions so i can use it like this now this is nothing but 0 0 minus i into 0 is 0 so minus 2 xyz into 0 is 0 so x square plus y square plus x square is 0 okay fine Chal. now from here what to do we got x square plus y square plus x square now using this condition, I'm going to get what they asked, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is cos square beta. How? Let's do it. Observe me. I mean, observe what I do so that you can understand how to do that. Now, see, what is the condition x square plus y square plus x square is 0. What is x? Cis alpha, that means cos alpha plus i sin alpha. What is y? Cos beta plus i sin beta. What is z? Cos gamma plus i sin gamma. So this is what I have. In place of x, this, y, this, z, this, squares are there. Now, here is where de Moore's theorem is going to come into picture. Now, whenever there is a power like this, like cos alpha plus i sin alpha power 2 is nothing but, like there's a power, this power will come in inside the angle, like cos 2 alpha plus i sin 2 alpha. Okay, likewise cos 2 beta plus i sin 2 beta and cos 2 gamma plus i sin 2 gamma. I hope things are clear. Now, the same thing. Uh, bring the real parts together and imaginary parts together. So cos 2 beta plus cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma plus i into and then take take i common in these three terms i into sin alpha plus sin. So I, am, I mean i into sin 2 alpha plus sin 2 beta plus sin 2 gamma. In the RHS, this 0 I can write it as 0 plus i into 0. Why? Because here there is a real part, there is an imaginary part. So that's why I wrote 0 plus i into 0, real and imaginary parts. Okay. Now, so hence by comparing the real parts of RHS and I mean LHS and RHS. So I get cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma is 0. Okay. Now what is cos 2 alpha? Cos 2 alpha is nothing but 2 cos square alpha minus 1. It is nothing but 2 cos square alpha minus 1. Because in first year trigonometry, you guys must have learned it. Cos 2 is nothing but 2 cos square minus 1. So cos 2 alpha is 2 cos square alpha minus 1. Likewise, these two, these two are also similar. Now, Okay, so minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 3 and these 3 are there. Now take 2 common in these 3 terms. So if you'll take 2, if you'll take 2 common, so 2 into cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma. And also one more thing, this minus 3 is there, right? Send it to the RHS. So I'd get equal to 3. Now cos square, now send the 2 to the RHS. So I'd get cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 3. Right? Hooray! We got one of the conditions, okay? we need to get the second condition now for that pretty simple uh you know cos square alpha can be written as one minus sine square alpha because again in the first year trigonometry you guys must have learned right cos square theta plus sine square theta is one so sine square theta so cos square theta is nothing but one minus sine square theta in place of cos square alpha i can write one minus sine square alpha in place in place of cos square beta i can write one minus sine square beta and in place of cos square gamma i can write one minus sine square gamma. so this is what i have okay now 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, 3 and take minus common in these three terms, minus 3 minus of sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma e is 3 by 2, okay. Now, this 3 is there, now send it to the 
RHS. So I'd get minus of this equal to 3 by 2 minus 3. Now just take LCM. 3 by 2 minus 3 is now 3 minus 6 by 2. So it's nothing but minus 3 by 2. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. So minus, minus, cancel. Done. Sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma is nothing but equal to 3 by 2. Okay. Great. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. In case you like this video, please hit the like button. It would encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Okay, not just this topic, I've covered other topics like theory of equation, binomial theorem. In Max 2, we also integration, uh, definite integration, circles, differential equations. Please do check out the description for some of the links. And you can also go to my playlist section of my channel so that you can find out many more videos which could help you out okay and once again thank you